you have a very important mission. You were in Yemen recently. Tell us what did you see, what did you hear on the ground? How has the United Nations brokered ceasefire hold up there? Well, I think the, the first thing one can say is that uh, development in Yemen uh, from a more humanitarian and also economic point of view remains dire and uh, remains uh, difficult and, uh, and Yemen will no doubt be in need of, of support from the international community uh, in the period ahead. And that, that goes without saying. However, as you alluded to, the uh, latest year we've seen some positive development on the political and also on the military, front, uh, on the military side. We have seen a truce that uh, was brokered a bit uh, more than a year ago through the work of myself and my office, and that has largely been holding up until today. And we now have an opportunity where we also can, if we play our cards right and, and all participate in a constructive manner, we can also take the next step, which would be seek an agreement uh, from the parties for a, a more concerted uh, uh, truce and, and uh, steps towards political process and, and a nationwide ceasefire. And this is an opportunity that I think uh, we, the Yemenis and the international community should, should take moving forward. Um, is it your sense that um, somehow the different stakeholders have come closer in the course of the past year, especially in the course of the past few months, if you think about the fact that um, you know, Syria is back to the Arab League, uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia have this great detente, and China's role is uh, widely anticipated within this region. Some call it uh, the area a great detente in the Middle East. Um, how do you feel about that? I, I always believe in humbleness. I believe that one should uh, be, uh, be welcoming positive development uh, and one should consolidate that, and, but one should also be careful in not uh, making it uh, rush too far ahead uh, in, in your uh, analysis and your hopes uh, for the future, making sure that you, you, you take uh, all the steps that you take are, are on solid ground. But, but I will agree with you that we've seen a development in, in the region where I work that are uh, positive and where we also see a situation where the countries in the region are willing to, uh, to uh, solve their differences themselves and that is encouraging. Uh, there I do believe, again, coming back to the role of the United Nations and, and the broader international community, that we have a responsibility in assisting them in, in solving uh, the, the differences that they have. And, and this is where I, I see uh, China's role as, as, a, as a positive one and, and uh, will want to, to make sure that, that the, the positive steps that we have seen so far can, uh, can also be sustained.